I'd like to introduce to you the Snappy RC Ultimate Fuel Kit. In the kit you'll find a three hole grommet for the tank, a Buna O-ring for the cap, and a vent check valve. You also get some basic instructions and you'll get some fuel tubing. Now in this uh, video I'm showing three different colors and they're already cut to the length and that will help with uh, identifying which tubes I'm working with. Okay, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of two cycle oil, lube up the ends of the tubing. One of the short ones will be for the vent. One of the short ones will be for the return from the carburetor. And those will stick through about a half to a quarter of an inch is all. And then I'll take the longest tube and that will go through at about four to five inches. And on the end of that is where we're going to stick our fuel filter. Put on your weighted tank filter. Take a little bit more two cycle oil and run it around the grommet. Now this part is going to be a little bit snug, I tell you right now. It is a tight fit. Very important to use a little bit of lube and twist it in. Just like so. Fuel filter's pickup is laying down there in the bottom of the tank. You can plunk around a little bit. Now the green was for our fuel supply. It's hooked up to our filter. Either of the other two lines will work for the return or for the vent. So we're just going to slip that in there. Also a pretty snug fit on this. Just like so. Okay, now the tank grommet's installed. Fixes the problem with needing a new tank grommet. Much better fit and much more versatile. Let's take a look at our gas cap. The machining on the bill of caps sometimes leaves a burr right along in here in the bottom, right at the end of the threads. That needs to be cleaned out. The other thing is that vent hole. We've got to plug it. So, let's take a look at the easiest solution. Seal all. Gas and oil resistant. Perfect for our application. Take and stick a little dab of seal all in there. Just fill the hole. Let it dry. Once it's dry, put the O-ring in. You're ready to install the cap and put it in your Baja. Okay, now I'm going to show you my favorite way of sealing this. As you can see it's a little bit larger. I've gone ahead and drilled most of the way through and tapped it. I got a little set screw. screwed it in there and that cap is sealed. Now all I have to do is stick in the o-ring, make sure it's seated properly. Now that I've got the o-ring in there, I just screw it on. I'm ready to put it in my Baja. Thanks for watching my little video. Hope you enjoy your kit.